get disrespect to me? You're ugly, boring, and you're in my way. Or, come on, show me what you're made of. Ain't gonna be that easy, matey. Now time for Pain City. Go on, show me what you big boys... Go on, show me what big boys you are. Or, get f***ed. I'm gonna say go on, show me what big boys you are, even though there's three you of them. You played yourself. And one of me... They actually beat the shit out of me. With like two kicks. It's a person on the cover. Why are you looking at me like that? Okay, Howard Loader, we're safe here. You can relax. What's your name again? You relax. I'm relaxed. Are you sure no one followed us? What's your name again? Where's my mouse? Guys. I couldn't find it for a second. Continue. What's your name again? Did you hit your head? It's Renee Wilson. Let's talk. Did we meet? Renee. Renee. Renee? Is she the one we met at the bar? I don't even know. Okay, I'm assuming. <laughs> My whole thing just- What is going on? Oh, on? Thanks, but I'm not in the mood. Why would I tell you anything? What about? What about? Alright, let me get things started. Go ahead. I don't like the voice I gave her. I'm a writer. I've been researching Clarissa Bloodworth for a book on power and influence I'm working on. Well, who are you working for? Or, why are you interested in Bloodworth? Or, how did you find me at the park? Why are you interested in Bloodworth? She's maybe the most unofficially powerful person in the city. Since she took over as head of her family, she's been expanding. New drugs, high profile visitors, to the bite, and more. So you're an expert on Clarissa? Drugs? Visitors? So you're an expert on Clarissa. You could say that. I've never talked to her directly though, and you have. What's she like up close? Honestly don't know. She's like a stone wall. Intimidating. Smart. She could see right through me. She did see right through us. I'm gonna say smart. She could see right through me. Yeah, that's my impression too. She wouldn't get that far without knowing how to read people and their intentions. Is she pushing drugs? What kind of visitors are you talking about? What kind of visitors are you talking about? Because we did find that body. Did you know there's a VIP lounge upstairs at the bar? Super exclusive. Some real influential guys have been seen there. I'm talking top bankers, senior police, even apes. I knew the police were involved somehow. I've been up there. I suspected as much. I don't remember the last time I saw an ape in person. I'm gonna say I've been up there, because we have. I'm guessing you weren't invited. Bloodworth is getting some powerful regulars. Not such, not, no such thing as simple drinking with those kind of folks. Is she pushing drugs? S specifically monkey bite, incredibly potent, super addictive. She serves the clean variety at the bite and the shittiest version is turning up on the streets. So like in real life, it's a stupid name or potent how, or how do you know it's served at the bite? Someone owed me a favor and let's just say I asked them to have a good time. It loosens up the l tongue, which for someone like Bloodworth could serve a purpose. Let's move on. Mm hmm Who are you working for? Myself. As for my funding, there's a guy, a rich, important asshole. It's an ego trip for him, but he knows I don't like being told what to do. <sighs> Who's the guy? Or, you like telling others what to do, though? Or, tell me more about the book. Who's the guy? The name wouldn't mean anything to you, but he thinks the book will make him look good and dish the dirt on his rivals. And are you going to make him look good? Or, tell me about the book. And are you gonna make him look good? No. Trick will be letting him believe that I have. You always tell it how it is, huh? Or, tell me about the book. You always tell it how it is, huh? When the time is right, especially when someone really needs telling. Let me guess, everyone needs telling? Only the bad guys. The book I'm writing about is power and influence. How they work, how they get them. How you get them. My end goal is to discern who really holds the most influence in the city. How worthy. Sounds like you're way over your head. And what's that going to accomplish?
How worthy. I'm glad you think so. I can make a difference this time. No one really had do has done this work before. How did you find me at the park? <laughs> Excuse me. Man, I should start a sneeze counter. What? Is this my third time already? Well, I left the bite right at just after you got kicked out. Saw you running around. I wonder what madness you were up to. Yeah, it was pretty hot under the collar. Just the usual night for me. Yeah, it was pretty hot under the collar. Anyway, I staked out the back alley just in case. 20 minutes later, bingo, a puking raccoon. I've got a sensitive stomach. Could have been a usual back alley puking. Glad you enjoyed the show. Glad you enjoyed the show. Then I followed you, hoping to ask what happened. Not sure why I let you drink that whole that whole bottle first. Right? What? So you were watching me this whole time? That's weird. Now I'm suspicious of you. Glad you found me. You stalked me. Not cool. Hope it was worth it. You stalked me. Not cool. Hey, I was concerned. I have a little gratitude. Why am I here? What do you want from me? First, I want you to trust me like I trusted you just now. What did you find at the bite? You know what? I think I should go. I don't want to like get anyone else wrapped up in this. From now on, I only trust myself. I don't want to get anyone else wrapped up in this. Wouldn't it feel nice to share the burden with somebody? Yes, that'd be nice. You wouldn't believe me anyways. I've been fine by myself so far. You wouldn't believe me anyway. I'm here to listen. I can help. What did you find? It's a long story. Started to be from the beginning. On our way here, you told me you're a PI. What led you to the bite in the first place? My case. I was looking for someone. A nice dinner. My case. What's the case? I was hired to track a guy, take some photos. Hmm? Why? What's the deal? I'm not sure what, what I was trying to find out. It doesn't matter. He's a piece of shit cheating on his pregnant wife. I see. Disappointed, but not surprised. Did you find him? Krista threw me out before I had a chance. Nah, it's lying. Yes, it's corpse. What? Where? In the bite basement. They were cutting my target up into pieces. What the f***? Gutting him like a fish. There were other bodies hanging from the ceiling. I knew it! I knew I saw another body! <clears throat> Dividing his flesh into neat little chunks. I'm gonna say there were other bodies hanging in the ceiling, because that's what I noticed. Dot, dot, dot. I saw boxes of flesh. It wasn't just one body. Are you f joking? I'm not much of a joker. I wish I was. Let me get this straight. Bloodworth is cutting up people in the basement of the bite and then putting them into boxes? Yes. Hence the puking. You got this straight. Yes. I wouldn't put killing people past her. But this? Why? Maybe it's a power thing. Or a fetish. How the f*** would I know? Maybe she eats them. I'm gonna say maybe it's a power thing or a fetish. Everything is about power with her. A fetish? If she wasn't cutting them up herself, it seems unlikely. I didn't ask for this. I'm not a f***ing murder detective. I don't know, Renee. I don't know shit. Okay, wow. Really was an awful night for you. What are you gonna do now? I gotta get my shit together. Keep drinking? Die, probably. No, I gotta get my shit together. Exactly. Then what's our plan? Since when is it our plan? I don't know about you, but I'm going to sleep. Await the sweet embrace of death. Wow, man. Since when is it our plan? Since I followed you through the city all night and rescued your soggy ass from a puddle. I have a proposition. I don't want to know. What is it? I want to invite you on an adventure. I like adventure. Can you be more specific? Thanks, but no thanks. Can you be more specific? Work with me. Let's find the truth about Bloodworth. She's clearly more dangerous than I thought. Exactly why am I going to stay- Exactly why I'm gonna going to stay away from her. She is. But what could we do? How is that a good idea? I know you're scared, but I can see how- you how your brilliant mind lights up when we speak. Are you charming me? I've never had a partner before, but my gut feeling says I could trust you. You found something that I couldn't, and you owe me one. I trust you too. Good, because we clearly can't trust my gut. I don't owe you anything. Good, because we clearly can't trust my gut. Just imagine doing your thing while I work behind the scenes. Teamwork. Also, I'll pay you. A partner could be nice. <laughs> yes, yes, you switched up quick. He's, I'll pay you. Oh! So about this partnership, Clarissa will be looking for me. How much? Clarissa will be looking for me. If she is, I can help you stay out one step ahead of her. I'm smart and know her mo modus operandi. D. I'll keep you safe. You're right. Okay, maybe. Let's try, I guess. Hey, excellent. Now, tea time. Am I brewing some? But I'm the guest. You do it. Sure thing, boss. I'm gonna say sure thing, boss, because I just know I'm gonna end up doing it. Okay, okay. Oh, she has a cork board like us. Is there anything else I can look at? 
Nothing else? Okay, turn on the kettle then. Hmm, which tea would Renee prefer? Green minty tea, black spicy tea, hibiscus flowers. Hibiscus flowers, maybe? Gentle, subtle, and my favorite. Whoa, what does that mean? What does that mean, Howard? Renee is pretty cool. I don't know how to feel about her. Now, not sure I trust her. I don't know how to feel about her, that's honest. Time will tell. I'll watch closely. Maybe I deserve a friend. She got under my skin pretty quickly. She got under my skin pretty quickly. Yeah, Howard, get a f grip. You just met her. Put on the cow. Coming right up. Oh. Boxes. You just moved in? She didn't say anything. Oh, she is saying something. Oh, you missed it, guys. Sorry. I have a similar one in my office. That's what I said. No good investigator should be without one. Oh, okay. Um, where are we? Docks, not the most picturesque part of the city, but at least it's hard to find. Oh, we were waiting. Turn off the kettle off. I was like, what am I doing? What happened to the cups? One mug, two mug. D. That looks like straight. Oh, it's hot water, of course. Do I, I, I know how to make tea. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Hibiscus, my favorite. Thank you. Don't burn your tongue. Way ahead of you. Renee, I do know how to drink tea. Way ahead of you. Oof! Ow. So the case. We need to figure out what happens to that flesh. Did you see the Starling Cider delivery truck in the bite alley? Oh, yeah. I think I saw it. Yeah, I had to dig around. I don't remember. Yeah, I had to dig around. I broke into it. You think of what I'm thinking. The truck smuggles the flesh away. No, I'm thinking about... No, I'm thinking what I'm thinking. Not a glass of Starling Cider would be nice right now. Oh, that a glass. The truck smuggles it, the flesh away. Would it though? Right? That seems a little like a stretch. Where are you going with this? What if I told you it's not a real Starling Cider van? Conspiracies are for crazy people. I like some conspiracies though. They're kind of fun to listen to. Why bother making a fake? What if I told- What, what if you told me why? <laughs> I'd seen a few if, a few times while researching the bite. It's a good fake, but you can tell up close. You followed it, didn't you? How did you know it was a fake? I love their pear cider, don't judge me. And the logo just didn't look right. Up close, the colors were off too. So where does the, the where does it deliver it to after the bite? Well, luckily there are people who you could pay to keep an eye on things. Long story short, I know it delivers to somewhere in Gastown. People like me, but not exactly. But not exactly? No, my informant tracked it to the main commercial block, then lost it, but I figured out that it spends the night in the by alley before going to Gastown the next day. I plan to sleep through tomorrow, so it'll be Gastown tomorrow? Yep. You should figure out exactly where it delivers and investigate. We have to learn where the flesh goes, so it's a stakeout. How would I know where to look? There are, there are many shops, so it's a stakeout. Sure, but look where Starling is stocked. It's a fake truck, but the right place is probably, <laughs> probably, will s probably still sell it to avoid suspicion. That'll help you narrow things down. That's some good detective thinking, Renee. And if it doesn't, we need to check either way. It's the only lead we have. We don't want to wait until the next until next time. I'm not sure it's safe. It has to be done. It does. It does have to be done. The only thing the only thing to fear is fear itself. You could do this, Renee. I'm having a second thoughts. Clarissa could be tracking me. We'll figure it out. Clarissa could be tracking me. You already compromised your safety. What's the point in stopping now? You've got nothing to lose. Fine. I'll have to call Odette. Oh shit, I have to call my mom. Uh, I have to call Odette. Whoever that is, go ahead. The phone is right there. Arrange a taxi to Gastown while you're at it. I've got a man for that. Be right back. We do. No objective. Track down the fake Starling Cider truck. Find out where the boxes of flesh are ending up. Okay, Ooh. why do I keep doing that, guys? 
Um, that just shows us where. Who are you gonna call? Let's do Odette first. Hello. Hello. Odette, this is Detective Loader. Sorry to call so early. Mrs. Green, um, hi. I'm Howard. I'm gonna be brief. Odette, this is Detective Loader. Sorry to call so early. Mr. Loader? My husband didn't come home tonight. Did you see him? I could find him. Um, I'm not sure how to put it. I have. You're safe now. What? What happened? You must tell me. It, I'm still his wife. You'll be okay. Trust me. Move on. Goodbye. I'm so sorry, Odette. He won't be coming back. You should call the police. You're okay. Trust me. Move on. Goodbye. But please, wait. Hang up. Who are you gonna call? Mom! Loader residence. Hey, Mom. Can you answer the phone like a normal person? It's your favorite son. I'm gonna say, hey, Mom. Howie? What time is it? Are you okay? Did you hurt yourself? Mom, I'm fine. I'm just checking in. Shush. How are you doing, Mom? Just wanted to hear your voice, Mom. I'm gonna say we're just checking in. You don't call for weeks. Then you check in at 5 a.m.? Sorry, I've been busy working all that. You don't sound too excited to hear from me. Yeah? How are you? I'm gonna say, yeah, how are you? I'm good. Do you need money? I have a job, Mom. I'm okay. Why, you win big cards or something? Why are you like this? I have a job, Mom. I'm okay. Sure, a job. I just worry about you. What do you need, then? I don't need anything. I'm fine. Nothing. I don't need anything. I'm fine. Well, now that you're here, maybe you can help me. I keep seeing these damn spiders under the bed, Ma. Spiders, huh? Big ones? Huge! I'm not panicking, but where are they coming from? You should take a look for me because maybe later I won't call for a week or two. Don't worry, okay? Sure, I'll call you in a week or two. Busy. Fine, fine. You never have time for your mother. Maybe you will when you die. Oh, when I die. Ooh. When I die. Mom, I love you. I gotta go. Bye, Mom. Don't say I love you. You gotta tell- If she's a good mom, you need to tell her I love you. Mom, I love you. Oh, Howie, I love you too. Don't skip breakfast and stop smoking. Bye-bye, baby. Hang up. Oh, who you calling? Anatoly. <gasps> Anatoly! Anatoly! Anatoly? I'm Howard. You sound very awake. It's Howard. I know who it is. I called you. It's Howard. You sound very awake. <laughs> Howie, you think I was asleep? Sleep is for when you got no babies. You free today? I think you might need some sleep. Actually, you sound excited. You free today? For you? Always. What's hanging? <laughs> it's a bear! Or a beach? Um, what was I saying? Pick me up today at 9. I'm paying for the day. I really think you need some rest. Pick me up at 9. I'm paying for the day. You bet Howie and Dolly, the dynamic duo detective boy partners. Crime lords. Beware! I told you, we're not partners. And I told you, please remember to put some clothes on. It might be fun, actually. <laughs> Heck yeah! Where do I pick you up? One second. Renee, what's the address? Tell him to pick you up outside, 1640 Alburn. Alburn. Alburn Street. It's a block away from here. Thanks. Thanks. Tolly, 1640 Alburn. You know it. Yeah, in the docks. Wait, Howie, who's Renee? Who is she? None of your business. Tell you later. Can't wait, gotta run. The poopy lad is being cranky. Dad life. Drive you soon. Hang up. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! You might be able to help us on this case. I might end it here. I'm, oh, let's talk to Renee first. Okay, so start with the truck. Find where it's going. Call me during and after. I'll write you my number in a minute. Also, who's Odette? Odette is my client. What should I do when I find when it's going? Doesn't matter. We're go we're doing it. Let's do this. Odette is my client. Elaborate? The one that hired me to snoop on the guy I found dead in the bike? Her husband. Oh, poor woman. Anyway, what's my end goal with the truck? Yeah, not sure I handled that well. So anyway, uh, I'm not sure I handled that way. You did not, but that's, that's okay. We all deal with grief in different ways. What happens when I find the truck? Uh, thank you? What happens when I find the truck? <laughs> Our goal is to confirm if it's smuggling flesh out of the bite, and to where or to whom. Anything you learn, report to me. Got it. I need a nap. You could stay here as long as you want. This place is my little secret. I'll go home now and meet you back here t later tonight. Sure, speak to you later. You don't want to stay? I don't 
if they know each other that closely. Sure, speak to you later. Bye, Howard. Be careful out there. Goodbye, Renee. She leaves. So what's the case? Never mind. You know I can't tell you, but this one can make a difference, I think. We love that for you. Time you stamped your name on the world. H O W A R D. His ears cut. It's not about my name. And the name of your partner stamped underneath it. T O L Y. Dolly. I love Anat Anatoly. Here we go. Gas Town. Shepherd Almighty. What a swanky place. Be cool to live here, huh? Looks like. Looks can be deceiving. I'm not here to sightsee. Be cool to live here, huh? Maybe if I stole my kidney. Well. You go on and bother folks. I'm gonna get some quality and a totally chill time. When's your truck coming? Soon, I hope. We'll see. Kick back in, a mini in the meantime. We'll see. Kick back in the meantime. It'll be here before you know it. Bring me a magazine or a paper while you're at it. I'll see what I can do. Go get it yourself. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. It's so hot and I'm so lazy. You're telling me. Gas Town. New objective. Buy a new pack of cigarettes. Figure out where the boxes of flesh are ending up. Track down the fake starlings. Wow, okay, we have a lot. We have a lot to do. Furniture store? I need a new couch or any couch. You don't have a couch? I never noticed that. Liquor shop. Oh, we go in, we go in. Sorry, sorry, sir. I'm waiting on a delivery. Could you come back later? What kind of delivery? Do you sell Starling, St Starling Cider? by What kind of delivery? Please come back later. I have to close the shop. Okay. Tuna. Hey, friend. Hey, friend. I'm Dorian Tuna. I give you fun facts wherever, whenever you press the button. Go ahead. Press... Eggs are very nutritious as well as a great way to decorate your home. Eggs? Plants emit an ultrasonic sound when injured or under stress. It's like they're screaming. Okay. Beavers eat a million pizzas a day. Do, do they? Do they? No one thinks about you as much as you do. What is... Rocks are old. Very old. One third of your lifespan is life is spent working. Lobsters are illegal. You will cry on average 64 liters of tears during your lifetime. Hiccups serve no purpose but to annoy you. Your memories are not objective facts. They can also change over time without you noticing. Staring at yourself in a mirror is not healthy. At one point, you were the youngest person to exist. When you drink from a cup a little bit, of it, if your spit goes in the cup, and that's gross. The color you see in the dark is called intristic gray. The louder you speak, the more correct your opinion is. There's always the last time you see someone. What do you call a fish with no eyes? Fish. Fish. You're saving all your money for time when your brain is ready to enjoy it, but your body is not. Everything in the universe is either a tree or not a tree. If you think about it, the brain named itself. Your skeleton is moist. <laughs> because of unfortunate... Subnatics, a poo poo is mostly less effective than a pee pee. Teeth are edible. Wh what? One day you'll hug your friends for the last time and you might not know it. Having a headache is generally a symptom of leading very, very sinful life. You can never completely know someone. People who sneeze loudly are just looking for attention. You can't extend short things. How long is this? You were once a baby. Paying grant is one of the sneakiest forms of oppression. On average, people don't know what they're talking about. You were born alone. You will die alone. Goodbye. <gasps> you exhausted the fish and yourself. Time is vast and we are ending. I broke the fish. I just wanted to know all the facts. Oh my gosh. I can't just barge in there. The owner is watching me. Can you leave? <laughs> okay, okay. I can't believe I exploded the fish. I wasn't expecting it. 
bookshop. Ooh, it looks cool. Welcome to Pucci's Read. Buy some books, please. They're good for you. Oh, you got these things with pages and words? <laughs> or what can you tell me about the local area? Or you, you have, you've been here long? Bye for now. What can you tell me about the local area? I'm a bookseller, not a tourist guide, but we do have the Gorman's Gallivant around Gastown if you're interested. Doesn't sound spicy enough for me. I'll pass on that one, thanks. Doesn't sound spicy enough for me. <laughs> well put. Oh, you got these things with words, pages and words. You've been here long? I've been running this store for 12 years. Took over from my mama. Shepherd bless her memory, if not her shelf organizing system. You going to sell books till you die? People still got an appetite for books? All my parents gave me was anxiety. You going to sell books till you die? I certainly hope so. That's how I want to go. Just after reading the last page of a great novel. I like books. How's business been? People reading still? You learn more from real life than from books. I like books. I do. Then you're easily pleased and always welcome here. Oh, you got the... Bye for now. I just said I like books. Why would I say you got the things with the pages in it? Oh, that was it. Okay. Bye. Poochie. Bye, Poochie. Uh, uh, Sean. Yeah, I'm on a smoke break. That's fun. I'm just passing the time. I want to talk. And the customer is always right. Need some company? I'm just pass- Oh, uh, that's fine. I'm just passing the time. Well, heck, aren't we all... Faster than we think. You gave up on philosophy classes to work here, huh? Preach. Preach. So what's up? Guess it wouldn't kill me to make small talk once in a while. So why electrics? What are the locals like? You own this place? I'll leave you to it. What are the locals like? They're all assholes. Aren't you a local too? Why though? Because they live here. So why elect electrics? You know where you stand with electrics, unlike everything else in life. Electric stuff still breaks. I should get you to fix my TV. What make is it? It's a Domeski 250. Picture's gone, so I use it as a radio. It's a Domeski 250, a timeless classic. I'll never change her. Domestic 250 is classic. I love when people respect their sets. Bring it in. I'll see what I can do. Soon as I get a chance. Will it be easy to fix? Soon as I get a chance. Yep. You're on this place? Yeah, I've been here for a couple of years now. Hey, you've made it. How are you liking it? Nice, it's a good life. How are you liking it? The rent here is so steep. It'd be cheaper in West End, but half the folks there don't even have a stable supply of juice. You gotta follow the loons, I guess. Then why'd you set up here? You gotta follow the loons, I guess. Yeah, it just does my head in. I'm selling fancy new colored light bulbs while half the population rely on candles. Wow, this is too accurate for the time. Is it gonna get better? There are worse crimes, man. Is it gonna get better? Doubt it. Is it what it, it is what it is? I don't know, everything seems fine to me. Yes, but why? Once you make it, you can help other people. Make rent, make stuff. Help others do the same. My motto, Monday. No shame in looking out for yourself. I try to help people. No shame in looking out for yourself. The world could end tomorrow, and there's nothing you could do. Ever think about that? I do all the time. Never had a reason to. No. I do all the time. Yeah, brings a person down. I'll leave you to it. Okay. 411 Electrical, what's this? Deli shop. Oh yeah, we're trying to figure out which shop they're selling the meat at. Welcome. Welcome. Can I interest you in some honey nut glazed apple sticks? I'm looking for something fresh and seasonal. You got red apple cigs? Oh, we need cigarettes. Thank you, goodbye. You got any Starling Cider? You got any red apple cigs? Surely do. Three loons for a pack of ten. I'll take them, thanks. Here you go, that'll be th three loons, thanks. I'm looking for something fresh and seasonal. Thank you. You got any Starling Cider? Sure! We've got regular red cherry and pear. Expecting delivery today? Which is most popular? Expecting your delivery today. I've got plenty of each stock. Why do you ask? Hmm? Just curious. Do you sell anything special? What do you see is what you get. It's all quality produce. I'm looking for something more. Uh. Thank you. Goodbye. Uh, they're stocked. I don't think it's them. 
Ocean crunchies, good for the munchies. Oh, I see, I see where you're going, refrigerator. Doesn't look too fresh. Oh, this looks like the chick we met at outside the uh, uh, the bar. Could be this. Could this be the place? No, they're stocked. Oh, um, maybe it's not her. It's just a different money. It's stocked though. I don't see how they could. Mm. Okay, so let's keep in mind the deli shop. Doc, what voice should I give him? Oh my, what a magnificent snout, my boy. You've got a bone structure many kinds could only dream of. Thanks, I grew up myself. Excuse me? Whoa, nope. Bye. Thanks, I grew up myself. Of course, your kind has its own inherited problems, but I'd love to take a closer look if you don't mind. Perhaps there's a correlation. A look at what? Who even are you? Absolutely, I mind. A look at what? Could you bare your teeth like so? Say roar. Roar. So show you mine if you show me yours why Let, let's just do it i'm just gonna let's just do it fascinating no sign of overbite slight concave curve to the canines no yellowing at the base or the tip but not too pale overbite concave curve concave curve indicates that your intellect is as, as, is at a lower level than usual for fox carnivores but not too bad, I imagine you're a creative sort. Did he just call me dumb? I dabble. I imagine you're always such an asshole. I dabble. Just science triumphs again! Overbite. Overbites signify lower ethical standards, resulting in abhorrent behavioral patterns. You're not a sexual deviant, are you? Oh yes, of the utmost deviancy. Wait. Um, so he said no sign of an overbite. Okay, wouldn't you like to know? Overbite me. Overbite me. Wouldn't you like to know? I wouldn't ask otherwise. Ah, oh, never mind then. What kind of science is this? Odontology. It's a way to predict the socioeconomic strata stratification of different kinds i've published a manuscript on the topic wow who would publish something like that sounds like a hoax wow you're more than welcome to visit me at my office for a closer inspection on your magnificent jaw goodbye now bye um that was a weird experience but um okay mo nah this is Bo. does he have a twin Bo's the newsstands guy. Get your papers. Is that you, Bo? What happened local? What's happening locally? Got every anything the lazy taxi driver would enjoy? Oh, we gotta give him a newspaper. You want news, crosswords, or I got a little something something for grown-ups. What's the difficulty level of the crosswords? I thought dirty mags were legal. What's your paper headline? Grand Shepherd Temple opening schedule for the annual Ape Day Parade. What about the crosswords then? Only got the ones for kitties left. Perfect, I'll take it. What about the grown-up stuff you have? I'll buy a paper instead. He wanted a paper, so I'll buy a paper instead. Okay, two loons, please. Sorry, I'm broke. Leave another time. Here you go. Thanks. What's happening locally? What's happening? Like what? Seen any sp suspicious traffic? Any funny locals I should watch out for? Anything spooky going on? Never mind. Anything spooky going on? Yeah, man, the pigeons are getting crazy. Somebody's got to poison the bastards, I'm telling you. Or else we're going to have Geezer's Plague Part 2 on our hands. That is quite spooky indeed. At least Geezer's are useful. De they deliver stuff. Geezer's don't deserve the hate. At least Geezer's are useful. They deliver stuff. I don't know what that is, but okay. Not for me, they don't. They're dirty birds. If it's... It, it is known. Seen any suspicious traffic? Any funny locals I should watch out for? Seen any suspicious traffic? Nope. I got better things to do than count cars. I got news to sell. Any funny locals I should watch out for? I'm funny and very local. Want to hear a joke? Sure. Peekaboo! That's wild. I don't get it. Oh, I wish I couldn't hear that. That's wild. <laughs> I knew you'd like that one. Never mind. Need anything else? Is that you, Bo? No, I'm Mo. Who's Bo? Okay, I must be mistaken. The rabbit from Granville. The rabbit from Granville. 
Just go away, you're scaring off my clients. Bye. Dang it, I thought he'd... Where'd they go? It's by the bookstore. And Wood Palace. No shops for the van to deliver that way. I should get to the liquor store quickly. Uh, but I have to- I have to give a newspaper to someone. Can I not talk? Where is he at? Hold on, let me give this to him. I can't talk to him! I just bought- I just bought his paper for two loons! A startling cider truck. It looks official to me. Impressive. So let's go into the liquor shop. They're still here. All done, Grandpa. See you next week. Ooh, they're staring at me. Hmm. Lewis. Hello, name's Lewis. What can I do for you on this fine day? I changed his accent. Don't mind it. Looking for something to treat myself. Do you sell starling cider? Let's talk about what I could do for you. I'm afraid I'm not looking to take on any new employees right now, sir. But I'm flattered by your interest. I don't want a job. I have a job. This isn't what this is. I need to take a drink. I forgot I had told you that. Oh, you're a salesman. I'm not looking for new suppliers either, I'm afraid. Let's start again. You selling Starling Cider? No, I'm a trendsetter. What was in the brand new delivery? New delivery. Let's start. You selling so Starling Cider? Of course, my friend. But if you want refresh, if you want refreshing, perhaps I can recommend you my very own light stout. I have apple, cherry, and blueberry infused varietals. But I love Starling Cider the most, and you just got a fresh delivery. But what does your new delivery contain? The brand new flavors. Oh, uh, yes, that's possible, I suppose. You really are a styling fanatic, hmm? Except there are no new flavors, Louis. I have- I just have to try them all, like, right now. Except there are no new flavors, Louis. R ridiculous, I know that, I ordered. I know what I ordered, but this is my shop, I won't be- Herringood? Don't know if that's the word. I won't be- Herang. Like this, it's my own shop. It's true. I'm a journalist. Few questions and I'm gone, okay? Lewis, I'm a private guest investigator. We need to talk. What? That's nothing. But if it will make you happy and leave me alone. Have you heard of Clarissa Bl Bloodsworth? Where are you buying those crates from? You got any buyers for those crates? I, I mean, I haven't even unpacked them. I told you, but you know, how about a free sample of my own porter? You're not going to get me drunk. Are you really trying to pay me off with hooch? Goodness, no, I'm just being hospitable. I drink to smooth things over. Always helps. Have you heard of Clarissa Bloodsworth? Where are you buying those crates from? Just my usual wholesale supplier. I'd love to only sell my own brews, but sadly people are slow to love them. If they had more taste, then... Then... Not having money problems, are you, Lewis? You sell any of your stuff to the bite? You stock any merchandise from the bite? You stock any merchandise from the bite? Like what? Isn't a isn't it a bar? A club? They don't export anything. Have you heard of Clarissa Bloodworth? I I've heard of her. Who hasn't? She owns that bar, the bite. I think it's called. You ever met her? She owns anything else, perhaps? I'm not sure. I don't. Uh, I'm not familiar with her business dealings. I'm afraid. What's in the crates, Lewis? You talk, or bad things will happen. I know about the flesh, Lewis. Now I need your help. So please, I don't know what it is you, you want to hear, but this shop is my life. It's the only thing that matters to me. You're a f***ing coward and you know it. I can help you, but not if you don't talk to me. The truth will set you free, it's time. I can help you, but not if you don't talk to me. Talk? About what? You wouldn't understand. I mean, if there was something... When I'm, impa when I'm impatient, I get very angry. Talk. Nobody will know. I hate Bloodworth. You're s you'll be safe. You don't have to do this alone. Nobody will know. I hate Bloodworth. You'll be safe. This isn't about me. If it was, then maybe. But I'm sorry. Please understand. Just leave me. Neither of us want to do this the hard way. Help me understand. I'm on Team Lewis. Someone has got to stop Corsa. Help me. Help me understand. I'm on Team Lewis. You'll just make things worse. I know what I'm doing and I hate Clarissa. Lewis, I'm investing in Clarissa. I got your back. 
I suppose if you found a way into the storage room after I drop this key. I'll take a look. Don't go anywhere. He dropped a key? Do we have the key? I'm assuming. We have the key! Oh, these are the crates. It's a closed wooden crate. Inspect up close. I really don't want to open this. Inspect up close. There's a faded Starling Cider logo on the side. The box is a simple construction of cheap wood with a flat lid. Look at the lid. The lid doesn't appear to have a lock on it, and there's no of, ob and there's no obvious way to open it. Punch the lid, inspect the lid. Think about the box. Think about the box hard. Inspect the lid. You run your fingers carefully along each edge of the lid. At one point, there's a tiny recess in the side. Lever up the lid. With a little effort, the lid pops out with it from its groove. Look inside. Beneath the lid are a number of small packages of individually wrapped in thick silvery paper. Sniff the packages. Come on, don't puke again. You can do this. Unwrap a package. I can't do this. Forget the whole thing. Come on, don't puke again. You can do this. Unwrap the package. You peel back a layer of silvery paper to reveal a neat square of flesh. Sniff the flesh. I've had enough. Inspect the flesh. Sniff it. I feel like he he has, he has could smell it. There's a... Mel Meling of intoxicating scent, sweet, fatty, and notes of acidic tang. F this I've seen enough. Inspect the flesh. The flesh is light pink with a stri stri striated texture. I can't f do this. I've seen enough. So, it is the flesh. Let's talk to him again. So you sold it? Illegal fish fillets? It's a dangerous black market. Don't you start trying to f with me. I really genuinely wish I could believe you. You think I don't know what fish smells like? I really genuinely wish I could believe you. You can believe me and I leave. And we can all go back to the way things were before. You're not squirming out of this. When did you find out what was in the crates? Part of me wants to. When did you find out what was in the crates? Only recently. I was told not to look, but I had to know. If only I hadn't, then I could just pretend. You're pathetic worm. You're going to give me answers now. Tell me everything. No one else will give you this chance. But but if she finds out I told anyone, I'll get thrown off the wall. You understand? If you tell a soul, I'm worse than dead. How did you end up with boxes full of flesh, Lewis? My name is Howard, by the way. What do you do with the boxes? How did you end up with boxes full of flesh, Lewis? I didn't have a chance. Fate has conspired against me. Maybe it was a hard choice, but you still had one. You still had one. But did you try to fight fate? Fate is an excuse, you know that. Maybe it was a hard choice, but you still had one. No, I did not. You don't understand. You never understand. Calm down, Lewis. Lewis, take some responsibility. Just try to explain it to me. It's just why me? Why her? Neither of us did anything to anyone. Just worked hard and paid our taxes. It's the damn city's fault. Why isn't her medicine free? Her? Someone close to you. Probably because life is horribly unfair. Her? Someone close to you? Miss Bloodworth is keeping my sister alive. She pays the medical bills. I even thought about selling the shop, but the loons wouldn't last have lasted. Keeping her alive, huh? People in those boxes had families too. Of course, she found your weakness. Miss Bloodworth may not be gentle, but she has a heart and she hears everything. I don't believe either of those things. I don't care. You shouldn't rely on someone like her. Maybe, but you know nothing. You shouldn't rely on someone like her. Easy for you to say. If you do something stupid, it'll be mine and Leia's blood on her hand, on your hands. My name is Howard, by the way. What do you do with the boxes? Nothing. I just look after them until they re-deliver. Until they're re-delivered. Delivery. Look after how? They just sit in the storeroom. I'm the one with the key. My name is Howard, by the way. Where do the boxes go? A woman calls... Ask for the usual. I get one of my boys to deliver the crate to her. I was instructed not to ask questions. The caller, who is she? Her name is Bajwa. Bajwa. It's all I can tell you, sir. I can write down the address for you. It's my it's my head if Bloodworth hears of this. Bajwa who? Tell me more. Your secret is safe with me, promise. I only want to know what's best I only want what's best for you. Bajwa who? Tell me more. I don't know. I would I would never ask. My name is Howard, by the way. Well, Howard, I don't know about you, but I need a stiff drink. Thanks, but I'll pass. Aww. This is sad. I 
I figured I'd do the I'm Howard, by the way. Just get out of the way. I kept showing up. You miss me out. Just, but fine by me. Thank you, Louis. I have to go now. Go. Where Where are you going to go? I'm going to stop Bloodworth. Gonna find out more about Bajra character. It's better you don't know. I'm going to stop Bloodworth. I don't think you can. And she's not that bad. She does a lot of good, I swear. You do your job. I'll do mine. Perhaps. Just please swear to me you won't tell anyone about this. I can't better live in even more fear. I won't. Don't tell me what to do. You got nothing to fear. I won't. You got nothing to fear. Thank you. Shepard guides you. Sure he does. Like he guided you. He doesn't give a f We're on our own. Sure he does. Like he guided you. I think it's time you left, sir. One last question. When is Baz Wells expecting delivery? Well, Joey took a crate over a few days ago. She's expecting a box of cigars today, but I'm not sure about the other crates. Tell Joey he's got the day off. I'll take the cigars. I'll deliver them. I have to meet the buyer. Tell Joey he's got the day off. I'll take the cigars. I- You can't. The suspect. And he- If it gets back to me, Leia, this won't get back to you. Give me the cigars. Trust me. I do this all the time. Give me the cigars. I- Fine. I can't stop you. My life might be worth this, but other people will suffer if you're not careful. Stay safe, Louis. Take them. On the house. Okay, so we have cigars. New objective. The crates get get delivered to someone called Bourgeois. Uh, ba, ba, wa, bourgeois. I don't know the name. Bourgeois. Bourgeois. Find out who she is. Okay. Um. Good luck, Louis. Louise? Is it Louis? I feel like it's Louis. I should call Renee. Oh, I forgot to call her. Can I give the paper to Anatoly Anatoly first? Here, and it's only. What's up, Brotendo? I got this. I got you this, you asked. A newspaper? Okay, I guess. What, you don't like it? Did I get the wrong paper? It's thank you, Howard. What, you don't like it? No, it's fine. It's clearly not fine. Yeah, I don't read the news. Makes me sad. Yeah, me too. Go buy something yourself next time. Yeah, me too. Thanks, Howard. How's my man doing? Very good indeed! Anything that's not shoveling the baby poop is a top-notch good time in my book. Family life getting you down? Nice, I have to go. When's Essie due? In a month! You get plenty of loons to have kids, so I appreciate the gig, I would. You need plenty of loons. How hard can it be to raise a kid? Don't mention it. And I appreciate you. Howie! Don't make me cry! I love Anatoly. What's it like being a parent? So you think having kids is worth it? I gotta go. What's it like being a parent? Imagine someone small and loud rugging out your tail and craving attention all day every day. But it's love. Worth it. Yeah, it sounds nice. Doesn't sound like my jam. Worth it, huh? Worth it how? Yeah, it sounds nice. Love is nice. Weird, but very nice. So you think having kids is worth it? I don't know. Is there anything else worth living for? I like that I made a person. When, it, when I'm gone, they'll remember me. There are easier ways to leave a mark on the world. You won't ever die, totally. It's hard to forget you, man. It's hard to forget you, man. Ah, uh, no! That's why we make a great dynamic duo! My unforgettable charms, your face, your face. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> that, that, that's kind of mean. Hotel? The Davois Den Hotel, not for the likes of me. Didn't say that right, but I do not care. Good afternoon, young glad. Good afternoon, how are your pigeons doing? Don't mind me just passing through. Good afternoon, how are the pigeons doing? They're good, thank you for asking. They know me better than anyone by now. Better than your family? How long have you been feeding them? I come out here every day. I've done for the last five years. I must say I enjoy the peace and quiet. Sounds lonely to me. You sh sure you don't want any company? I don't mean to disturb you, I'll go. Yeah, she's just feeding her pigeons. Let her feed her pigeons. Big clock. Grandfather Steam. Watching over gas town as always. Keep it up, old man. <laughs> oh, we'll call her in a second. It's more Harold. Hmm, no way. But where did... Ugh. You okay there? Hey, have you seen any trucks around here recently? I already saw it. Can I help you? Yes, thank you. Most young people have no patience. Now, if I dropped it here... What did you lose? Was it something precious? We all lose stuff. Don't beat yourself up. What did you lose? 
I dropped my ring. Blasted slippery thing. Sure you dropped it right sure you dropped it right here? How did you drop it? Was it expensive? How did you drop it? I'm not sure. Sometimes I find myself turning it without even realizing. Nah, cause my engagement ring, I turn it all the time, like mess with it. And when it's not there, I still touch it like this when even when it's not there. I'm not oh. Could you have dropped it elsewhere? It's probably gone, dude. Was it important to you? Could you have dropped it elsewhere? I suppose, but I thought I had a clink. Want me to look around? It's lost, no big deal. You want me to look around? I may be in my- I may not be in my prime, but I need the ring back if I can get down this manhole. Too dangerous, and it couldn't be miles away by now. Surely it's not worth a broken neck. Too dangerous. What if I forget about Irma? Who? My late wife. My only love. The ring was precious, but you'll always have your memories. You get to my age, you learn that's not true. There's are times now where I realize it's been days since I thought of her. Are you lonely? You have any family? Only natural, grief doesn't last forever. Are you lonely? You have any family? No, just me for 17 years. I do miss having someone to share an afternoon with, feed the pigeons to the crossword, you know. I gotta go. I hope you find what you're looking for. Uh, I wanna help him. Feed the pigeons? Why don't you talk to this lady? Hmm, what is it, dear? There's a guy I think you should meet. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna set them up! Oh my gosh! I'm sure your heart's in the right place, but you don't need to pity me. I don't. I'm just connecting two like-minded strangers. I can't help it. It's so sad. I don't. I'm just connecting two like-minded people. Strangers. Not that I'm interested, but what makes you think I'd enjoy talking to him? He likes pigeons, probably. He's very sweet, very philosoph philosophical. I know I know this word, but it's not it's not clear. He's your age. He's got a love he's got a lot of love to give. He likes pigeons, probably. And who is this gentleman in which you speak? He's right over there. Should I introduce you to? Well, you could tell him that if he wants to, I'd be willing to share my bench with him for a while. Achoo. Excuse me. He'll be happy to hear that. <gasps> oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. Hello again. Hey, what do you say to some company? Goodbye, I'd like for you to meet a new friend. That's sweet of you, lad, but I think I'll just bore you. I tell cats tell stories like I used to. <laughs> not me, someone wise and kind. Not me, the pigeon lady. You're not boring. She'd like to meet you too. I've seen a thing or two in my ears. I suppose lots have changed. I told her you're a cool guy. Then go say say them to the lady over there. What are you worried about? You're a cool guy. I don't know. I'm not used to meeting new people anymore. You like pigeons, right? She's looking forward to meeting you. Come on. You like pigeons, right? Certainly. Irma used to keep a fancy one. Then you might like Ginger. She's right there. Go talk to her. If you say so, I suppose it couldn't hurt. Okay, Harold. Let's go. Tell her the Rick Hinton sent you. Good luck. I need to see them right now. I need to see them right now. Right now. <gasps> My work here is done. <laughs> Wait, I kind of feel bad though because we didn't help him find his ring. But that's so cute. No point in moving away from the high street yet. I guess to the... Is that an iguana? I know you guys see that. It's like a pet. So there are like normal animals. That's so weird. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So were there humans at one point? I'm so confused. Okay. Who's speaking, please? I got a lead. Ah, oh, I'm listening. Clarissa is using a liquor shop as a front. A later named Bajois is the buyer. Clarissa is using a liquor store as a front. And who buys? And who buys from there? Clarissa has the shop owner Louise deep in her pocket. I get it, but who's the end buyer? A woman named Bajois. Any idea who she is? Not yet. She puts a call in the shop and the boxes get delivered from her. Not who, but I know where. <clears throat> Not yet. Did you learn where? 350 West Georgia Street. Ring a bell? An address in the tops. Interesting. Feel like heading over for my house for a house call? Heck yeah, I love peeking into people's windows. Tomorrow I'm so tired. Heck yeah, I love peeking into people's windows. Hmm. Might not be the best idea to just barge in and confront her. I'll figure something out. I have a delivery for her. My best hope is tricking questions and observation. I have a delivery for her. Ooh, good idea. But 
that won't get you into the apartment. One thing at a time. Maybe she'll invite me in for tea. Maybe she'll invite me for tea. Maybe. Serve her the slice of flesh cake? Renee, that's disgusting. Get on with it. I'm going. I'm going. Good luck. You're doing great. Call me after and head straight home, okay? Home? Well, it is where you live now. Right. Speak soon. Renee, um... Um, I don't, I don't know. I might end this here. Um, let's, let's go into the taxi. I think we're leaving. I'm pretty sure we're leaving. What's up, bro, Brotendo? Let's drive, Tully. Just checking in on you. Bye. Nope, we're doing that again. What's up? Let's drive, Tully. Yes! Where to? Tops, let's go. Actually, I want to explore some more. Be right back. Tops, let's go. What's new, Chief? Did you crack the case yet? I love this. No, got a big lead to it, though. <laughs> lead on, a par lead on, partner. Sounds like a bigger deal than usual. You're uh, being careful, right? Relax, I'm not about to deprive you from you, your best c customer. Best friend? Sure, but if you're be my best customer, how come you don't tip? <gasps> because best friends don't need to tip, Anatoly. I'd be, it'd be impolite. Polite? <laughs> I didn't realize you were part of high society, Howie. You fixed it to become a minister? Just watch the road, huh? Damn, how he doesn't tip, doesn't- Welcome to the Blue Falls building, my name is Finn. I'm afraid we have a strict policy of only admitting visitors who have been pre-invited. I have a delivery for Miss Bajwal. Really community spirit here, huh? I have a delivery for Miss Bajwal. Ah, oh, yes, there's a delivery boy on the list. She's in apartment, in apartment 1144, 11th floor. How do you like working here? What are the residents like? Cool, see ya. How do you like working here? It's a wonderful building. I'm lucky to work in such a good neighborhood. And what do you... And what do you get for it? But you don't live here, right? No, of course not. Doesn't that bum you out? Listen, pal, I'm just doing my job. It could be a lot worse, like being a delivery boy. What are the residents like? Rich. And they say money can't buy happiness. Bye. Nikki? Hey, what do I look- Hey, what do I look like to you? A big bad wolf. A lazy rich guy. I'm sorry, what? A big bad wolf. Damn straight, and I worked for it. I'm sure you did. Doing what? I'm sure you did. You don't live here. No, I'm a delivery boy. What gave it away? Nope, I'm a delivery boy. Delivery anything- Delivering anything I like? Probably, but it's not for you. I don't know. What do you like? Cigars? I don't know. What do you like? Show me what you got. I know it when I see it. I'll know it when I see it. Cigars. I can't screw with the packaging. Cigars. I can't screw with the packaging. Don't you know who I am? No. I should really get going. Should I? Someone who likes sticking their nose into other people's business. No. I should really get going. What's the rush? You gotta slow down or you'll miss out on the finer things in life. Like a tip for delivering on time? Like you? The name is Nikki, people call me the wolf. Even your mom. I could see why. Around here people hear wolf, they think of Nikki. I'm sure you're an upstanding pillar of the community. You make your mom call you that? No other wolves in the neighborhood, huh? I'm sure you're an upstanding pillar of, this, of the community. I don't see a fool like you around here often. That's because I probably shouldn't be here. Give me a break. I'm sure you're a real, I'm sure you're a real big shot. Oh yeah? If you ask nicely, I can get you on the wolf's hottest- I can get you on the wolf hottest level, fool. I'm doing fine down here on my level. I'm sure you can. Now we're talking my language. Ever heard of wolf job? Of a wolf job? Why well, ain't no way, boy? Excuse- No, it's not that I can't be. I don't have time for this right now, sorry. No, I prefer not to. Does your language include the word bye? No, I prefer not to. Leave, but remember me, baby. I don't think I have a choice. He was really talking about. He was really talking about. I think he was talking about. Okay, on that note, we're gonna end it there. Wow. Okay, a lot has happened. A lot has happened. We're we're gonna leave it there. We're gonna leave it there for that episode. Ooh. Wow. Okay. 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 Let's try and. Let's try and put together what we know so far. So we started off the game. 
we got a case to prove that Odette, that Odette's husband was being un, uh, uh, was, he was unworthy of her anymore, you know? A queen like her doesn't deserve him, you know? Uh, no, no, he doesn't deserve her. I don't know why I said it like that. Anyways, he's being, he's being a cheater, apparently, and all this kind of stuff. We found his dead body. But which confuses me even more. Because meat is a thing. And we saw that iguana lizard thing that was up like a pet. And it looked like just a regular animal. It wasn't walking, it wasn't standing, probably wasn't talking. So are there animals that are just regular animals like in our world? Or are they gone? Because there has to be meat from something. And if it's not from killing their, the, each other, it has to be from other animals. But even then, you're still killing other animals if there are animals that are just like our animals that aren't anthropomorphic. And isn't that kind of wrong? Where do you draw the line on that? I have so many questions on that. Anyways, we found his body, found out that they're cutting people up and selling the flesh, the, the meat. Because of course, of course they are. And then, we found out it was at a liquor store. Mrs. Bloodworth is paying for the guys for Louis, Louis' sister's hospital bills. We find out they're being delivered, the flesh is being delivered here today. And this is where we're at now. This is where we're at. I feel like we learned a lot, but I also feel like we didn't learn it a lot. So, oh, and we were, we, we met Renee. Renee helped us after we found out what happened. She helped us. I don't know if I trust her yet or not. Um, Cause one, usually when foxes are a thing, they depict them as sly foxes, tricksters, you know, kind of like the raccoon, you know? But um, I think the reason I'm kind of iffy with her is, mm, she was really quick to just trust us and stuff. Which is a little awkward, but also I have two 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 options for why I think that's weird. One, because she is she does trust us general generally. She's a good person, or she knows she's a bad guy, and so she knows we aren't. So she knows she has higher ground than us. Not sure if that's it, but I'm still iffy on her. We gotta learn about her more. Um, and since Howard, our character, wants such a close connection with somebody and to talk to somebody, it seems like he's opening up to her a little more uh really fast especially with the trauma he just went through and it seems like he's um liking her but i can't tell if that's a like because he actually generally likes her character because we don't we don't know her we met her for a day and that's it and so i don't know if it's him because he's, he's like he, he's not okay so he's like oh this is the only person i can talk to right now and do you know do stuff with right now so i trust her and i like her or if he genuinely likes her you know what i mean I don't know how to explain it to the extent I'm trying to explain it, but man, this game, this game, it's a hard, it's a hard hitter because there's a lot of topics on like the the world, and it's very similar to our current current world, and that's it's kind of sad almost, and because there's a whole po people are power hungry and people there's higher ups that have the cops on a leash, and that's even a thing today. As much as people don't want to believe it, it's a thing to this day, and the higher up thing is still a thing to this day, and there's the fact that. Who made the comment? Um, the electric store guy who said he was gonna fix our TV made a comment about how um, he fixes these rich people's TVs. Uh, oh, he wanted to set up shop at a cheaper place because it was cheaper to rent, but he didn't because while he's fixing that, the TVs and stuff, people around him can't even afford to even have food or juice or anything like that so that goes to show that that's a thing that we have an issue in today so i think it's cool that they're showing real world problems in this world um obviously there's a little differences like they're animals so we're not but then there's the fact that we saw that drawing um like it was a stick figure on the sign for the park sign and he said oh it's an animal with its tail cut off but one it didn't show a tail being left behind it didn't show any blood trails it was just a stick figure so he's assuming it was a it was an animal with his tail cut off but my thing is what if it's not what if people were a thing and it's just evolved to this point i don't know if that's true i don't know what's going on i guess hopefully we'll find out more as we go but that there's just so many questions and i'm hoping get answered the more we play but so far that's all we kind of know right now if you noticed anything or want to make a comment on something from what we've played already please leave a comment below i would love to hear what you guys think of this game because i actually really like this game so far and i love i love the art for this game it's so nice looking even just 
like everything around it the raindrops the shadowing the coloring the people walking by like normal the cars driving by people moving just around because that's what people do people reading feeding pigeons there's just so much going on and it's perfect and i love it i love the artwork for this i like this game a lot so far and i'm hoping I'm excited. I don't know. I'm excited. I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed this video because I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this series as it goes on. But that's going to be it for this video today. Um, this is episode two of Backbone. I hope you guys enjoyed. Now today, now it's. I got my voice back. I got my voice back. Except I don't know if I want to drink my juice or water. No, we're going to stick with water time. Water time is water time. If you are new here and you don't know what water time is, water time is when I remind you to stay hydrated, to drink something, specifically water, but it's your choice. And you don't have to drink with me. You can drink with me later uh, or not drink with me at all. You can do it on your own time. It's just a reminder to drink some water, especially now that summer and the summer heat is insane. But yeah, that, that's what it is. If you are new here, you know the gist. Push play whenever you're ready and let's get this going. That was nice. That was nice. Gonna be freezing out of both mouths of this seat. I drank it all. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys have a good day and you guys have a good night. Adios, guys. I love you. I hope to see you guys in the next video. When it's over, I might kiss the sky. I'll need your roses, no last goodbye. Yeah, my soul cries out in the dead of night. You won't find me sober, I won't crash this flight.